In this video, I'll demonstrate and explain interference zones for multi-axis mechanisms when using MotionWorks IEC. Hi, I'm Matt Pelletier. Here's a quick preview. The controller can detect when the TCP has entered a cuboid region in the mechanism workspace and prevent the TCP from entering that interference zone. Interference zones are implemented using the Y activate IZ function block. And they are useful for preventing collisions and controlling sequences at the application programming level. Now let's look at this in more detail. An interference zone simply means that the controller can detect when the tool center point on a multi-axis mechanism lies within a cuboid region in Cartesian space. Optionally, the tool center point can be prevented from entering the interference zone. The function block Y activate IZ from the PLC Open Part 4 library is used to program up to 32 simultaneous interference zones for each mechanism. Any type of mechanism can use interference zones. Each zone is assigned an ID number, 0 through 31, and the programmer writes code to enable and disable those zones under different circumstances. The boundaries of the interference zone can be defined in the machine coordinate system, part coordinate system, or world coordinate system. I'll use the Moto Mini robot to demonstrate an example of interference zones with an interference zone right above the conveyor. It will be easier to visualize this interference zone using the Moto Sim software. I'll execute a move to enter the interference zone. The block Y activate IZ indicates that the interference zone is violated, but the motion continued because the zone action is set to warning. Now I'll move back out. And you see that IZ violated is now false. This time I'll set the zone action to abort. And I'll re-enable the block. And move back in. And you can see the TCP stops right on the edge of the zone while IZ violated is true. To recover, I'll just turn off the zone, reset the group, and I can move back out. You can see I'm using zone ID 0. Center point is selected as the IZ type. That means that parameter 1 are the center point coordinates, and parameter 2 are the width, length, and height. And this is all using the machine coordinate system, or MCS. As the name suggests, interference zones are intended to prevent the TCP from interfering with other parts of the system. Entering a space at the wrong time could even result in a collision and damage. It offers a level of collision prevention when jogging the mechanism with a pendant. Interference zones could also prevent damage if an error in programming results in unexpected motion. But interference zones can also be used when multiple robots share an overlapping workspace. Interference zones allow the controller to programmatically reserve the zone for a particular mechanism and thus prevent entry and possible collision with another mechanism in that zone. Interference zones are also useful for sequencing. For example, it may not be necessary to move to an exact position during the cycle especially if the exact trajectory changes. In this illustration, the TCP may be at any of the points P and move toward the point Z. If point Z is within an interference zone, the program sequence can direct the TCP to point N using a more efficient path. Another example is to start or stop a conveyor using interference zones. In this case, the interference zone is over the box on the conveyor. The IEC program signals the conveyor not to move the box 
while the TCP is violating the interference zone. This part of the sequence is then independent of changes to the TCP trajectory, which results in a safer, faster, and more robust program. Now a few details regarding interference zones and the MPIEC controller. First, a zone may not move with the tool or along with part of the mechanism. For this reason, the zone cannot be defined in the tool coordinate system. The axis coordinate system may also not be used, since this does not result in a cuboid region for every mechanism type. The axis coordinate system would not ensure that the TCP may not enter the region in an alternate mechanical position or with a different tool. The only action that can result automatically from the Y activate IZ block is to abort motion. It does not redirect the TCP around the interference zone, although this may be accomplished programmatically. Also, please remember that while proper use of interference zones does result in a safer program, interference zones are not robot safety. Robot safety requires redundancy at the hardware and software levels and should be considered separately. Keep in mind that an interference zone is concerned only with the position of the TCP the center point of the tool. No other parts of the mechanism or parts of the tool are detected by the interference zone. This is especially important when the tool is relatively large as the TCP is still a single point on the tool. Part of the tool could enter the zone, but the interference zone is not detected until the actual TCP enters the zone. So make the zone large enough to account for these scenarios. Let me give a few general tips for those of you who will program interference zones in MotionWorks IEC. First, be sure that the Y activate IZ block is in a program POU running in the fast task. This is especially important for Mechatrolink groups since interference zone detection happens at the interval setting of the application task. When the interference zone violation results in aborted motion, disable the zone and execute group reset before attempting a recovery move. The cuboid region can be defined in one of two ways, either two corners or center point, and the help gives a good description of that. Two corners requires entry of the X, Y, and Z coordinates of two opposing corners of the cuboid, and a center point uses the x, y, and z coordinates of the center point, as well as length, width, and height of the cuboid. Both methods support the rotational components of the cuboid using parameter 1 with Mechatrolink groups only. Thanks for watching this video, and go to yaskawa.com slash IECSW to download the latest version of MotionWorks IEC 3.